And I'm excited. Okay, now we're recording. Okay. So, first of all, welcome back. I feel like it's been a minute, but it's only been like a week delay. <laughs> yeah, only been but... one week. Yeah, it's not been it's not been too crazy, but I feel like it's felt like a long time for me because I've been doing so much shit, and I feel like I haven't talked to Damon like in literally weeks. Yeah, it's been busy. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's been like too much going on. I don't know what you've been doing, but I, you got a snake. Yeah, I got a huge snake. So you know, it's a lot. There's a lot of things in motion, like. A lot is happening. There's just a lot going on. Can't talk about it. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So, very excited. I mean, I've got <laughs> nothing going on. I'm applying for jobs and they're saying, well, you know. They're not ready for the vibe. Um, yeah. They don't, they're not ready to pay people what they actually need to be paid to live. So. Honestly. It's just not going to happen. That is not going to happen ever. Are we? I literally saw... I'm so so, I'm so sorry to cut you off, but this is actually, like, I feel like this is an interesting topic. So I recently saw a video of this restaurant that started, I guess, buying. I guess they were buying these things. I don't, I, I wouldn't say they were given them, but they are basically robots that take the jobs of, like, servers or waiters Oh. When they can't fill those positions. That's fine. It's not like they're going to pay servers or waiters anyways. Right. But I was thinking, how much are you spending on these robots that go around your entire restaurant serving people versus like paying someone two bucks an hour? <laughs> like literally, like it's actually crazy to me that they will waste money on something like that, that I know cost way more than like what it would be to hire on somebody no for real though a robot has got to cost more than two bucks an hour at least for the first like five years right i'm like it uh, for if you have it for such an extended period of time it might be you might be saving money after so many years but with how much that fucker costs that's gotta be like a lot of years because they have screens they like talk they have the e like it's a whole thing. It's on wheels. Like that's it's a whole thing. Yeah, that's honestly insane. That's honestly nuts. Where is yeah. this? I hold up. I have. I wish I knew exactly where it was. Um, but I saw it on Twitter. So it's it would it's probably gonna take me too long to find it without there being like, you know, dead air. It's going to be, like, somewhere um, in California or something. You know, I think it was probably somewhere big like that. I really wish I knew. I mean, there's probably multiple restaurants that have these things, but it was just this specific restaurant they were showing off. We are living in a dystopia. Robots are taking over our jobs, and Texas well, <laughs> is banning abortions. Oh, my God. Don't even start <laughs> on that. And here's the thing. the In the video, the restaurant owner was like, people are saying, oh, they're taking our jobs. And he was like, actually, they're not. They are only here because nobody wants these jobs. And literally, we do not have enough people to take these jobs. And my rebuttal is immediately, pay them fucking Yeah, if more you money. paid people, they would work for you. That's literally it's how it works. Crazy. They literally. will do anything to avoid paying you what your labor is worth. They will literally hire a robot that can't complain and is meant to do that specific task. Yeah. For who knows how fucking much, just so they do not have to pay actual human beings a living way. I don't get it. They'll never pay us. I don't know. We we just need to stop trying. It's not going to happen. You know, I think it's time that we take a few notes from France. Uh, it depends on what the notes are, because... Um, I don't want to say too much, but the French love their riots. Oh, oh, I see, I see. They love their riots unless trouble. you're Muslim, but... Yeah, they're a little bit... Uh, yeah, Didn't they're... they just you... ban hijabs and headscarves, like, legally? You can't wear them in the street? 
I don't know, but since you're saying something that controversial, I'm, I have to look this up. I'm 100% certain. I swear to God they did that. And then England is trying to do it as well. What? Yeah. Okay, well, in 2011, France became the first European country to impose a ban on full face veils in public areas. So it's France has been on their fucking bullshit with this. Oh, wow. But I've... Uh, I, if you know France... Well, actually, I'm not going to say this because <laughs> usually America has, like, this hyper... I don't know what it is with, like, America and showing France as not being, like, kind of awful sometimes, but they always glaze over the awful shit that they do. Yeah. You know. I don't know. And what... I don't even know too much about it. I, it's probably because they helped, they, they helped us become a country. We're like, well, we'll just pretend that they don't do anything wrong since they're the only reason we won the Revolutionary War. Right. But France, they're definitely on their bullshit. Um, but I do like the riots. I, I like the idea. I'm not saying that. I, I'm not. I don't know what they're rioting for, so I'm not standing for that. But the idea of a riot. Yeah, they I have a revolution actually, yeah. every five years. You know, they just go they're thrash the middle like of a... fucking Paris. They just go thrash Paris, and then they're like, "All right, <laughs> we'll do what you want yeah, us to do." They're having like a revolution, probably right now. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know, the um, only people who've tried that here are, like, the wrong people? Didn't, like, the Trumpies burn down the cat? I'm just kidding. They didn't yeah, burn it down. Little... They thought about it. They thought they tried. They, they, they heavily considered. I would definitely say that. If you or a loved one uh, either is or knows anyone who was there, let the FBI know. Yeah, seriously. Um, I wonder if they've caught, if they, like... Well, I doubt they've gotten everybody that went there. No. Hmm. Well, one of these days. Mark your fuck. You literally count your days if you're at the Capitol. Count your days. Each day is a blessing. They're looking it, at literally. you. Literally. <laughs> they, they fucking... Rec they streamed the whole thing while they were doing it. It's like, you guys fucking stupid... When you break the law, you're supposed to, like, hide yourself. But, of course, they're all, like, anti-maskers. They're just, hey, what's up, Twitter? I'm here at the Capitol. I'm, I'm shitting on Nancy Pelosi's desk. <laughs> the one time where they should have been using a mask. They were just so anti-mask, they wouldn't do it. Yeah. You're just so anti-mask that you, like, refused. It's crazy. So anti-mask, so you're gonna, like, you'd rather, you'd rather be, I don't know. There's not bright. Yeah, but we you know, should... I don't want to wear a muzzle either, but... Yeah, you're removing my freedom! <gasps> it's crazy. I'm not going to get too into it, but it's actually crazy. It's funny. I don't even care. I don't really care about it. I just think it's hilarious. I'm like, ah, they tried. Y'all really tried, and I don't know what you were trying to accomplish, but I'm so glad that you did something, I guess. I don't know, like... You want to pat on the back? I don't get. I, I don't understand what they were. I don't get it. They wanted something. I don't know what it was. Me either. Um, but I refuse to give them any more of my energy. Oh, <laughs> I remember what it was. They they still to this day think that Trump secretly won, and they keep waiting for Q to tell them when he's going to come back to office. Even though Q's last five dates were wrong, Trump never went back to office. Q's always right though. I, I, I can't stand the whole Q thing, like... Did you watch the twisted. Q documentary on HBO Max? No. It's pretty good. 10 out of 10 recommend. I might watch it just to see, like, the ridiculousness that unfolds within that community. Well, they're trying to figure out who um, Q is, and they basically have, like, the owners of 8chan, and it's 100% the owner, the, the son. They're just these, mm. like rich white people in the philippines it's totally the sun yeah. is totally q 100 percent. well I'll, I'll know when i watch um what i think about that but i i do have to add that what i found interesting about the whole QAnon thing was how it was literally like the alt-right people yeah and the weird leftists really um, yes. I don't know if you fucking saw that, but there were all kinds of, like, spiritual hoes, like, oh, like, yeah. 
things yeah. that you would associate with leftism, but they were all like heavily rightwashed. Yeah, they were. They fell down the rabbit hole, like, mm-hmm. and they got lost. Yeah, they started believing in like <laughs> the aliens and the what is it, baby adrenaline. Yep. Isn't uh, that, that what like it is? An, uh, it was like Andrina. It was like and something Andrinochrome, something along those lines. Yeah, some that bullshit. Wording. That was so stupid. Oh my god. It's so crazy thinking about... <laughs> you know, honestly, what I think part of it was... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that kind of blew up more so during, like, lockdown. Yeah, we had nothing better to do. Yeah, everybody was, like honestly probably losing their minds like i don't think anybody was in the right mindset in that era in that time period 100 percent, they were all f- i think that's yeah it was nutty that's they were exactly all nutters. Was. there was nothing there was nothing better to do than get on 4chan and no until 4chan banned them and animal crossing H-chan. and looking up like q on information oh my god my um one of my dad's stepkids was like trying to convince me of this that it was real and that like pizza gate and something about like oh. panda panda eyes and they're injecting the baby's adrenaline and shit. I was like, what the fuck are you There is some like the, the only Okay. So obviously like I followed that rabbit hole because how else would I know about this, right? Yeah. So like the only part of that entire thing that was slightly off to me was that one girl um she did like all this weird performance art and lady gaga was best friends with her um and people thought that she was doing like satanic devil work and she had oh, like oh the lady gaga yeah. killed her friend for the what? devil one is that the one i have honestly no idea yet. you couldn't pay me to answer that question um but she there's this like really iconic photo that she did or like this thing that she did where it was she was holding a bow and it was like pointing towards her and another man was like holding the arrow and pulling it towards her and they were leaning back and it was like this weird performance art thing like huh very strange Uh, i wish i could remember her name but i'm not gonna delve too into this because this is not gonna be that type of (laughs) we're gonna talk about podcast Um, or fucking what is it conspiracies that make zero sense conspiracy yeah exactly um she's the only part of that that i think is a little odd just because of like her family lineage too that i like remember reading about she's odd there's something off about her yeah if you stand her i literally do not care Something's not right with her. Um, that's all I've got to say. I thought the weirdest part was like the one where they were like, look at all this Ikea-like furniture that's named children's names. Okay, that one was fucking weird because, A, why did that cost that much fucking money? I think it was all fake. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what the fuck was that? That was odd. I don't know if it was like a whole children thing but that was a weird moment. That was so weird. It didn't even make sense because it's just not how no. sex trafficking works. But uh, what else was weird was how, like, and I don't know if this was real or if this was something, like, that just became real because so many people did it, where they would, like, highlight the skew number or some number on the item and enter in Google, and then pictures of kids would pop up. God, and then, like, I names, swear that was all... And, like, like, yeah, it was very... I don't know about that. That was weird. I don't know. Maybe any... I'm falling down the rabbit hole, but like that was weird. That stuff was all so ridiculous, dude. I didn't it was so dumb to me. I don't know how people figure this shit out. Like you're not gonna find a child. You're not gonna be able to buy a child on Google, guys. It's pretty Right. It is also odd. It's like why? Like wasn't it Wayfair? Yeah, it was like, mm-hmm. why would Wayfair be? Like, what's up? It's, it, it was odd. There was, I don't know, that one I'm very confused about. <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid. I don't understand it. I thought it was all um, fake, but I don't, I guess I don't remember. I just remember all of these conspiracies happening all at once. I was like, it was lockdown. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was lockdown. Oh, and it was I like, actually blame COVID. right in the middle of like, what? 
you won COVID? You got it? No, I, I said I blame COVID. Oh, I was like, Jesus, that's not winning. I won COVID. I wish. I won it. I got vaccinated, so it can't even touch yeah, me. Yeah, I'm fully vaxxed, so. Yeah, Pfizer. So. I got my, um. Don't say Johnson Johnson. I'm just kidding. They gave me, I don't know, they gave me something in that shot. It was making me act up. <laughs> Whatever it was, I'm here for it. It turned me gay. It made me a little femme, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. That's why you shouldn't that's, get the shots. That's why there's a rise in femboys. Don't get me started. That's it. That is the answer. Don't get me started. That's why as, as soon as the vaccines like open up to the 16 group, TikTok was full of boys in, na- in maid outfits. Yeah. yeah. How much estrogen did y'all put in that vaccine? 100% I'm, wait- I'm waiting. Soylent. That's what the vaccine is. Hmm. Interesting. That's Very interesting. A- That's so dumb. Uh, COVID's been weird for conspiracies. COVID is so fun. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I... COVID is awful. <laughs> um, it's hell. It really had. It genuinely did bring out the worst in people. Even if you didn't get it, like. COVID has affected you mm-hmm. and you don't even and you don't even know it like it's insane to think about actually I can't like, even socialize anymore no like I actually hate going like before COVID I had finally gotten into my era where I was like I love going out I want to go out all the time I, I love partying like I love seeing people mm-hmm. and don't get me wrong I still love seeing people but I literally do not leave my house unless I am like forced to leave like, I have no food at the house, and I'm starving on the brink of passing out. Like, it's bad. I just, I, I can't even get a lot of, there's not even a lot of jobs I can get, because uh, I know somebody who has, like, a lung disease, one of my family members, and if he gets COVID, he'll just fucking die. So I'm not yeah. even allowed to, like, get jobs and shit, like. Well, that's why this is our job, like. Yeah, this better be. This better start raking in the dough. Oh, it it is actually. Um, I just haven't um sent you any yet. Uh, we um, haven't dispersed it. No, like all the numbers. Are you gonna I know s- all the numbers? You gonna skim five percent off the top? Um. You have to skim off the five percent, like Ethan Klein. I was thinking four point nine, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> all of the production costs. Right, of course, like exactly like everything is like funding it's funding my um my iphone like when i have to charge my iphone oh yeah you're right yeah that takes a lot of electric power you know what i mean yeah excessive amounts of electricity copious amounts even Mm -hmm. like even it's also funding me getting new earbuds because even though my wired earbuds are very indie core um very indie kid vibe uh, I definitely need some new earbuds because these bitches are like twisted up and like not right. They're, they're malfunctioning, <laughs> yeah. but they're they're surviving. I keep forgetting to I keep forgetting to get these set up for when we start streaming. I forgot you got those. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do the Bluetoothy thingies. It's just too much effort. Oh, I wondered if you got those pink um cat headphones because the vaccine made you femboy. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Let me check yeah. my butt plug box, see if it has anything Let's... to say. <laughs> Just... You got that after the vaccine, right? Well, he... oh. <laughs> Just right. Um, this episode is amazing already. <laughs> yeah, we have, this is like um, the, literally the least amount of anything we have ever had planned. We didn't even discuss before. No. I, you know, I did... There is only one specific thing that I wanted to talk about and everything else. I just kind of wanted to do what we usually do and just mm-hmm. kind of go off the dome. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, I watched Drew and Inya's newest uh, podcast episode. Um, they are our competitors, so I don't know if I want to say the name. Um, but you know who they are. What? I don't know um, who they are. You don't know who Dr- Drew... Phillips and Inya Aman- Amanzor, whatever. <laughs> no. You're actually... 
Uh, no, you might be serious because I feel like you probably weren't in that like collective. Drew, what? Drew, bitch. Look up Drew and Enya. Like literally, you just have to type that in, and you will find them together. And and Enya. E. Oh wait, I I have. I know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, um, this is this is our competition. We, we're not even competition. Period. No. Uh, yes. They're like they're our competition. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you know. So th think about it. They have a hundred percent better setup. Um, that little no, corner. No. That little corner is iconic. <laughs> Honestly, Drew's chair is a little bit iconic, and it's literally made of like foam shit. Like it's disgusting, Why am but I it's iconic. A phone call. Uh, I don't know, but don't answer it. Um. Anyways, the, uh, Inya brought up how she. I think it might have been Drew. Actually, I don't know. But they were talking about how they love to eavesdrop on people and like listen in on conversations and get like tea, basically. Yeah. And at one point, one of them brought up how they have a bad habit of looking at people's phones while they're on their phones. And I also have that bad habit, and I don't know why I do it. Like, so basically, if I'm sitting with somebody and they pull out their phone, my eyes immediately go to their phone screen. Like, immediately. Like, I don't even care what they're doing. I I'm, I just want to know. I don't know why. I'm just like, oh, what, what are you doing? Like, I'm curious. I don't have that urge at all. Oh, I have that issue. I also do have OCD. Like, you know, I have those um, intrusive thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not, I'm not going to blame that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should. But I, I don't know. Like, if someone, I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, I just want to know. Like, I don't, I, if there's some tick in me that is just like, I have to know what they're doing on their phone. Like, I'm just genuinely curious. I don't have the, I don't really care. I cannot, I don't I have care to... about other people. Mm. I'm just like, do what you're doing. I've never had that, never had that issue. Well, like, I don't, it's like, I don't care what they're doing. I just want to know. It's like, oh, I, like, I want to, I want to be in on the loop. Like, I just want to know. And I don't know why. Like, I actively have to tell myself to not look at someone's phone when they pull it out. But you know what else I have to do that's kind of similar to that and makes me think that this might kind of be an OCD thing? What? If I'm at a, if I'm at a restaurant and I look at someone Sometimes I like literally cannot stop thinking about that person the entire time they're in the restaurant. I don't care. Like it literally could be anybody. It doesn't matter what they look like. Hot. Like if they're the hottest person I've ever seen or like the ugliest person I've ever seen. It like and it doesn't matter if they're average. Like anybody. Sometimes I just get this like fixation where I have to stare at. Them. I don't know why, but I'm like I just have to see what they're doing. I just don't. I can't relate. I don't know what to say. That's just I don't want to say it's weird. Yeah, you should just get it called the therapy gecko guy. Uh, see, I don't know. I'm just like I will say it mostly happens when I look at someone and they look back at me because then it's like that connection that I make in my head like oh we looked at each other and then I can't stop thinking about it and I like look at then I'm like keep thinking now. about looking at them, you know. Yeah, it's like it's like now our uh now our lives are intertwined. Right. It's like we're connected. Like, I don't know. I feel like a soul connection with them now. Well, yeah, there's got to be something to it. Yeah, now I don't know what it is. Like, literally, it, if it gets bad enough, it gets to a point where I'm, like, thinking in my head, they need to leave the restaurant right now because I'm not going to stop looking at them. Like, literally, I'm, I wait for them to leave. So the intrusive thought goes away where I'm like, okay, now I don't need to look at anybody else in this restaurant because it's going to happen again if I do. Yeah, maybe you should see a therapist. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Like, it's kind of fun. <clears throat> I don't have that. I have intrusive thoughts, but it's not. I don't feel like I have to stare at people or look at their phones. Yeah, mine are very, it's very odd. I don't know. Usually for me, it's <laughs> like, I could just kill this person right now. 
Like, it would be so easy <laughs> to just stab this person in the neck and just kill them. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, that's yeah. normal. Is that normal? See, sometimes, I, I think that's a little normal. Or like, when you're holding a baby and you're like, I could just, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. You just, like, no, take the yeah. baby by the feet and just, that okay, happens. Uh... <laughs> That, that goes through my head. I don't want to do it, but it's just like, it'd be so easy to just like take a baby's by the fucking feet and just... Sometimes what goes through my head is like a long, drawn-out thing. Not like I could kill this person, but I literally like think... <laughs> this episode is going to get... Sent. This ain't, this is it's not right. Um, sometimes I'll like just imagine a f- like me fighting that person, like getting in a physical fight, and like it's <laughs> I I play out the entire scene. Are you like, like a ninja? It, Are you like no, like I'm just, it's like a regular fight, like but I just like get angry, like I'm imagining how angry I would be, like if like how far I would go, like to beat <laughs> this person as ass, like I don't know why that doesn't happen. I'm too small. I don't want to imagine me in fights because I would lose. Well, I don't. I, I don't know if I would actually win a fight, but like the way I imagine it, I'm like, oh, I'm winning. Like I'm I'm beating this bitch up. This is why I, I'm always armed with a knife. I do want to get pepper spray because I would feel safe with pepper spray. Because I don't think I could win in a physical fight with somebody mm-hmm. because I always say that if I get into a fight with somebody, it's life or death because I don't fight. Like if you're fighting me, mm-hmm. you better be ready. Because I will literally grab anything and beat the fuck out of you. That's how like, it's I will, supposed I, like, my to be. My intent is to kill. My intent is literally to kill. Like, do not come for me. You're gonna fucking murder somebody? Oh my god. See, this is, what, the, this is how I imagine the scenario. Someone. Like, somebody comes up to your table, or like, walks past it and knocks down your water, and it's just, immediately, you're like, grabbing all the knives at the restaurant, like, fucking stabbing them to death. <laughs> No, like, I'm actually a chill person, though. You'd be like, did you just (laughs) spill my... Did you just spill my... They'll be like, yeah, fucking cares, bitch. And then it's it. That's it. You're, like, grabbing the tray, and you intend to kill 100%. You're, like, biting their neck out. (laughs) I don't ever... I would never start the fight, though. Like, they would have to physically, like, attack me first. Like, I, I... You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. Because if you physically attack me, oh, it's over. Because first of all, why are you attack? Like, what did I do? Like, I can never imagine a scenario in my head like someone would want to fight me. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? It's a hate crime. No, because if someone did fight me, it would be a hate crime because <laughs> not me going out in this shirt. The, I don't know when I went out in this shirt. If somebody attacks me, it would be a hate crime because... <laughs> The white minority needs help in America today. We are the silent majority. Who? Oh? No. I'm just fucking kidding. That's. Um. White people are in danger. That's a blessing. Um. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so into people's business. I don't know why I always have these intrusive thoughts. Um, Maybe it's, but it's psychic me. vision of the future. You know, I, I am a little psychic. I do have a little bit, you know, I'm really, there's something going on. I got to be psychic because I was just thinking about how in school, uh, every time the teacher would say, guess a number, I got the number right like 100% of the time. I don't know if I believe that. I swear to God, it happened. I would always win. The number was always like 22 or something, though. Like 22 or 17. Mm. You might have just been like figuring out a pattern. Probably. Maybe teachers just aren't creative. They just use the same numbers every time. No. Well, I mean, there are things like... They're not studies, but it's like those videos that might pop up on like TikTok or YouTube or something mm-hmm. and it has numbers and it says pick a number and they almost always get it right but it's because of like some probability Max. you know it's like always something they weird. always get it wrong for me well maybe you're just like 
too different. Maybe I'm just built different. Yeah, I'm special. I'm not like yeah, the rest you might... of you fucking yeah. lame bitches. Yeah, Damon's on like another wavelength. Like we're too low vibrational to get it. Yeah. Exactly. I chew ice. That's what's different. Yeah, your teeth are fucked up. Um, because I do that too, and my <laughs> teeth are probably fucked up. Most of them are fake, real. honestly. So. Yeah, at this point, how many of my teeth are like? I don't even know how many of my teeth are real at this point. Like, I... this one's not. I'm. These actually, the rest of them are real. Partially. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, partially. Like, bitch, I don't have a real tooth. The fuck. And I honestly blame dentists. Um, I do have a conspiracy that dentists just like give you like fake cavities sometimes. Maybe like, I don't trust dentists. Like, even though they might not. Okay, like I don't want to say fake cavities. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I feel like they. I, when I was a kid, I swear I would brush my teeth every fucking day like i wouldn't do it too much like i didn't do like three fucking times a day because i know you can brush too much like and fuck your mm -hmm. teeth up i did it like literally like once or like maybe twice like i i probably should have done it twice but i did it like once mm -hmm. tell me how the fuck i would always get cavities every time i went to the dentist and they would always say something about it and i'd be like you're fucking with me like you're fucking with me you know what I don't understand about kids getting cavities is if it's like not their adult teeth, right? Like, why the fuck would you? F why fill it? You know. You know, I never even. It's thought just about gonna that. like. F it's just gonna fall out. They're gonna get a whole new tooth. Why don't you just fucking pull it out if it gets that bad? You know. Um, it's for money. I mean, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's gotta just, just for be money. for money. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no way that there's like a purpose to it. Maybe that's why I remember always getting pissed off about getting cavities, honestly. Because they were just, they were fucking saying, fuck it, let's fuck with this kid. One time they like, filled the tooth that was loose, and I just fucking pulled it, like, they just, we were there the whole day, they're filling this fucking tooth, I get home, and I'm, like, eating, and I bite the fucking tooth out. Dentists are... Then this are the OG scammers. Mm hmm Like, truly. Why don't we just replace our teeth with rocks? Right, because apparently teeth are aesthetic and mm -hmm. not fucking medical. Bitch, these are bones, bitch. These are bones. It's cal How come we can't just make them grow back, either? Why can't we just, like... Why don't we humans have the ability to grow our teeth back when, like, literally everything else does? Like, alligators and um, sharks and fucking shit like that. They just grow their teeth back. But we can't for some reason. I think that's a conspiracy, too. I blame dentists. It's it's the fluoride in the water. Yeah, honestly. It's making me gay, and it's giving my teeth... Like, it's fucking my teeth up. Mm-hmm. It's sad. So sad. I don't know. Dentists have... I, they, if there's a dentist out there... That can explain why y'all are so fucking shady. I would love an explanation, but something about dentists specifically has always put me off. I don't. I, I just don't get it. I can't explain. Out it. here in the West, every dentist is a Mormon. That puts me off. Ooh. Every single one in every state I've lived in in the West. The dentists in Colorado are Mormons. The dentists in Utah are Mormons. The dentists in Wyoming are Mormons. The dentists in Idaho are Mormons. Yeah, that's what's fucking off about them. That's a conspiracy. That's This is the conspiracy episode. The Mormon episode. dentist is like a real thing. Why are so many really? Mormons? Are, why, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are so many dentists Mormon? I'm about to be a Mormon dentist. Look, it's a real thing. I, People have been asking what? for years. We got... Um. Okay. We have... 2014, somebody asked it. Somebody asked in 2016. 47% of Mormons in 2012 on this thing are dentists. Or 47% of the dentists are Mormons. Become dentists. What? It's a real thing. 
Mormons in dental school, 2009. People are like, why are there so many Mormons in dental school? You know, that made me have this thought. Um, another reason why I really have a hard time trusting, like, dentists and, like, doctors even sometimes is because I feel like they don't always have my best interest at heart. Like, especially someone, like, Especially not here, where, like, their wallet depends on whether or not they force you to do things. Right, and I was about to say, like, or even if you are, like, someone that's LGBT, like, that's scary to me. Like, I don't, like, because they can just fucking say whatever to you, like, and fuck you up. Like, doctors, mm. they stress me out. Like, I don't like the the idea that they could just commit you whenever they want, like. Yeah, that's bullshit. D- I don't trust doctors, like, either. <laughs> this is too much. People are going to be like, Dakota, you need to get fucking help. Um, I don't know. I, there are doctors that I trust, but genuinely, I feel like a majority of, like, doctors or people that go into the medical profession profession now do not take it serious enough, and they don't care, and they treat patients like dogs, like mm-hmm. absolute dogs, because they hate their lives. And I'm like, I'm sorry that you hate your life, but you did this to yourself. Like, you can either fix it or shut the fuck up because you are ruining people's lives. Nobody that Period. I went to school with that went that is going to medical school right now, none of them were like, I want to be a doctor to help people. They were like, my grades were so good in high school, I'm going to be a doctor and get rich. Literally. I'm like, like, I don't trust you. Yeah, I would not go to, I would not go to them. They're almost doctors now at this point. I'm, they're halfway I also done. Don't trust you. I don't trust any of the nurses um, because they were all like cheerleaders in my high school, basically. Like, I fucking hate nurses. My mom is a nurse. The, I hate nurses. They, I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there's good nurses, but I'm talking about the one, the ones that are like the current doctors that don't give a fuck about it, like that are just rude to their patients. Like, there's just something off-putting. But like, have you seen that? And nurses. Did you see that TikTok where like the psych ward nurse was like, "Dose with your heart." They were like no. saying, like, when your patient is flipping the fuck out, just give them as much medication as your heart tells you to give them. Inject the shit out of them with drugs until they're fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. It's like, no. If I was ever put in a situation like that. I would probably... That would be another life or death situation for me because I would be going fucking insane. Like, I would probably beat the fuck out of a doctor or nurse if they tried to do something to me that I didn't agree with. I was in a psych ward once. I was in a psych ward once, and there was a kid in the psych ward who was, like, losing his fucking mind. He just, like, beat the shit out of a nurse. I mean, maybe I can understand. Why. And then, like, I mean... the, well, everybody hated this nurse too, so it was great. Uh, okay. We're all just sitting there at the end of the hallway, just watching this nurse. She's like, help, "Help!" We're not supposed to touch anybody, so we were just like, "Oh, right. we, our hands are tied. We can't help you." We're just watching this I'm nurse sorry. get the shit kicked out of her. This kid was like a thirty-pound, three-foot-tall fucking kid. Right. But he was like climbing around like a fucking spider monkey. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. It was hilarious. And then, like, two more nurses come and they injected him with fucking horse tranquilizer. I don't know. Knocked him the fuck out. I was like, Jesus Christ. Sometimes I just want to have a sit-down chat with these nurses or people that do things like that and Mm -hmm. make them cry. Like, you're fucked up. Like, I literally hate these people so much. What made you want to do this? Literally, like, you you sit down and explain, baby, because something's... You, maybe I need to do this to you. When maybe I, I need to inject you with fucking ketamine or whatever the fuck you're using and fuck you up. They'd probably just be like, well, I remember in high school, you know, I would bully the weird kids, and now I just want to work with the weird kids to make... Uh, so that exactly. they stop being weird. Apart. <laughs> I'm just trying to make up for bullying all of these kids, you know? It's like Right, I'm doing my good, like, ah. I've like, always you know? been driven to help people. Um, what about that time where you, like, hazed that band girl and, like, 
<laughs> fucked her with a toothbrush? I... Yeah, I do not remember that, sweetie. You don't remember that? Did you just forget that time where you, like, told the girl to, like, kill herself and she did? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Like, I don't know. There's just something... I don't know. Like, there obviously are some good ones out there, but some of the crazy fucked up shit that doctors and nurses mm-hmm. like be doing to people, especially to people of color, dude. Uh, yes, exactly. That is why we need like black owned hospitals or just like POC owned like medical facilities in general because. They are so fucking racist. It is oh unreal. God. Yeah, they're all like elitist white. They, they're families that are like the they're the white families where the dad was a doctor and their dad was a doctor and their dad was a doctor and they and they just have all of this wealth to just keep being doctors even when their kids don't want to. Like there's those people yeah. who take like fifteen years to finish medical school because their parents just pay for it and they don't give a shit and they don't want to be a doctor. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Yeah, that was you. I remember. Yeah. I remember when you went to medical school. That was wild. I know. I I, <laughs> I I actually did get my degree, but like I just don't use it. Um, yeah, being a doctor you know. just isn't for me. You know, I, I'll deal with the debt mm-hmm. my own way. You know. Exactly. Only fans. I have only fans. Humble yourself. Um. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't know. There's just some of the horror stories I hear about, like those doctors and nurses are like, um. I don't want to say psych wards, but like, you know, whatever the hell. <laughs> yeah. It's it's insane. I, it's, uh, I need to make them cry. Like, I wish I could just talk to some of these people and be like. Why? Why? What were you thinking? Slash, were you thinking? Slash, do I need to admit you? Yeah, you probably do. And then, and then we just admit them without their consent. Exactly. Give them a little taste. Give them a little yeah. sippy poo. See, it's things like that that I think about that I'm like, oh, that would be so nice to do. But I'm like, oh, I could never, God. obviously never do that. Yeah, we could make a Republican live off of a... Uh... Oh, wait, never mind. The majority of people on welfare are Republican. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I forget about that sometimes. Because they always go, they always go, you just need to get a job. Get off welfare. It's like, all right, let's put you on welfare and make you get a job. Except the majority <laughs> of the people on welfare are Republicans, so it's... I don't, you know? It's just a it's little... Crazy. Just a little a little fact right there. It's probably doesn't correlate. Yeah, I don't know if that has any correlation or... Because blue know, states like have that, more but... jobs. You know, more people right, are employed. Yeah. yeah, of course. Um, but I mean, do we really expect Republicans to think about that or think at all? I was about to say I don't expect them to think. No, I don't. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The day that they start That's thinking is the day they stop being Republicans. Right. It's like when they say college makes you liberal. liberal. Yeah. Bitch, go to college then. Yeah, get an education. What you're saying is education makes you liberal? Then maybe then maybe you're supposed to be. Oh, right. I'm like, so you, you, you realized, so they realized what they were thinking was wrong through so education. So smart okay. people think this way? And dumb people think that way? Okay. Yes. I guess. Because <laughs> I don't want to well, be Well, I guess I'll be a dumbass then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Charles. Like, I, I, I hate living. Uh, I, I love and hate living in the South. Like, there, there are good parts of it, but the parts that, that are like that, yeah. y'all need to go to hell. I'm sorry. They will. No, they will. I'm sorry, um, Ku Klux Carl, but you're not going to heaven. <laughs> right? You you ain't getting raptured, baby. You stuck down here when everything goes topside. I'm sorry, it's just not meant to be. I hate to break it to you, bud, but when Jesus said taking an immigrants, he he meant it. Yeah. 
y'all y'all shouldn't have been picky and y'all shouldn't have been picking and choosing. Mm, you know, sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, we're gonna be like, <laughs> oh, you have tattoos. Sucks to suck. You ain't getting in. <laughs> oh shit! Really? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I actually have never read the Bible literally a day in my entire life. I just make shit up for fun. I love the Bible. It's a good read. I have... How many Bibles do I have within reach? Only one. No. I have one over there and one over here and one over there. I also have this. It's my boy. I don't know if I have a... I don't, I don't think I have a cross anywhere here. I have a Mormon a Mormon Bible or a Mormon scripture oh, right here. Look at that. Oh. What's oh my god. Let's just see. Where's the Oh god, this is all this is the Book of Mormon and the Doctrine yeah. and Covenant and the Oh, this is all Mormon. It's all Mormon. Yeah, don't they have like a picture of um like white people in there? Yeah, they have like where is the picture section? Actually, this and is a like vintage. Jesus is white. This one's vintage, so it doesn't have that. Um, I really um, like. I do appreciate the vintage ones. You know, right? The, I love. I love the vintage Mormon Bible. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Unfortunately, this one is not the one. You know, usually on some of the vintage ones, they it they put gold fla uh gold leaf around the outside, so all yes. of the pages are like gold on the outside. Super sick. Yeah. Um, honestly, I love it. <sighs> uh, interesting. I don't have any Bibles or anything, but I do have a Bible verse, um, quote Ooh. hanging on my mirror. Ooh, what is it? Let's see. Psalm Ew. 37. Psalm 37, 4, 5. Whatever that is. I guess that's the oh. line or some shit. Oh, you don't have like it? Like a chapter. Here, we'll no, read I it. Have it. I ha no, I have it. So oh, I you have, have it written it. down? Yes. But, like, I don't... I, it says something about, like, take the light in the Lord or whatever. I don't know. Like, it's... commit to him. Oh, really? No, I don't commit to yeah. anybody. That's, uh... You can't... Me either. <laughs> Excuse me, commitment? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry. <laughs> I'm alert... <laughs> Never heard of that before. <laughs> Sorry. The yeah. only person I commit to is... I was going to say Jesus, but that's literally what it's saying, so I fucking failed. You fucked up. I that's fucked so up. Fucking sad. Oh my god. Oh my Don't god. Don't about it, baby. I also have an upside down cross right here. <laughs> Aren't all... I mean... I, can't, I mean, can't you make any cross an upside down cross? I mean, you can, but that one just like was made for it. It also has a pentacle, and it's upside down. It's did you say a, did you say a pentacle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess if it's upside down, it's a pentagram, isn't it? Yeah. So it's it's not an upside but, down pentacle. It's just a. But pentagram. at the same time, I mean, you can make it either or. So like. Because I got one on my ring. Mm -hmm. But depending on how you look at it. Oh my god. That's... You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes if I want to project more evil energy, like, I'll do the pentagram. But if I'm having, like, a good vibe, I'll do the... The pentagon. The pentagon? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm feeling, you know? Like, Speaking of the pentagon, the how did you spend 9-11? <laughs> Um, I actually didn't register that 9-11 was a thing, and to be honest, this is, I mean, if anybody has anything to say, you can say it, um, but I'm pretty sure more people have died at this point from, like, COVID in America yeah. um, than they did because of 9-11, but that's just my little think piece. No, you're, that's pretty, that's, uh, how did the youngins say these days, uh, based that's pretty based. That's pretty like it's pretty based. Killed, um and based. Yeah. That is good. I like that. I agree with that sentiment. That's all I gotta say. I really don't care about 9-11 at this point anymore. Um like I, I do understand, like I do care about it in the sense that it obviously was a tragedy and like nobody can ever take away how tragic it was. 
But the reason why America and Americans are so attached to it is not because so that they can virtue of its tragedy. Signal. They're uh, they attached to it because it's all links back to like hating another country mm-hmm. or like being racist or blaming someone for like a you know it. This, they don't care. I think when Americans say they care about it, it's mostly to just, like, be like, look, I have the moral high ground. I care about 9-11. Right, and it's like, it's like no, the no. fuck you don't. I am personally thankful for 9-11. Um, because I am in <laughs> right. love I am in love with Pete Davidson. If there was no 9-11, there would be no Pete Davidson. He became really? funny because his dad died. <laughs> oh, right. I, I 100% stand by it. That is my only take on 9-11. Right. <laughs> my only take is that, yes, it is tragic, but the reason why America attaches to it so bad is not for the reason that you think. It was so. just to justify being in a war that we lost. Yeah, pretty much. Just to justify being fucking idiots. Yeah, yeah. It's all so. fucking stupid. And to blame another country and to blame another group of people for something. Um, they killed America Americans! Then- America, you need to blame yourself this time because how many people died because of COVID? Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass, okay? Suck Sorry. my clit, America. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have we been going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, only what? 51 minutes. <laughs> Okay, we got like 10 minutes. We got like 10 minutes. Wow. You know, honestly, I do have to add in, though, really quick. I am excited to watch this episode back because I feel like this is the... Well, I was about to say this is the first episode. Bitch, it's literally like the second technical episode. But out of all three... Right. Out of all three things that we've filmed, this one is, I feel like, the most laid back. Um... This one feels natural, probably. I feel like this one might be a little bit funny. Um, you know, have a good laugh, have a good key, um, smoke a little bit, drink a little bit, like that type vibe, you know. Yeah. It's giving very much like we're um, at a house party, like vibe. Yeah. Whatever definitely. I'm saying. I don't know what that means, but. I don't either. You know, like I said, sometimes I do just, like, say things to say it. And that's not a joke. I do, too. Oh. (sighs) It's such an issue. But anyways, 9-11. I got a hot take on this that I want to just get out of the way. Uh, Nine eleven is like the best piece of propaganda America ever got. Do you remember being in school every single year? They would make us watch videos of people jumping out and turning into mist every single year. And then we'd say that, and then we'd like sing the national anthem right after every yeah, year. I... I was like, what the fuck? I think you turned, they were like, I realized that that's like brainwashing. I'd be watching. Yes. I'm like eight years old. I'm watching. I'm like, Oh my load. They just turned into mist. The red mist. Oh my God. And then we go, oh, hey. All right. Yeah. I, f- I was like, damn, I'm ready to join the military and die to kill some brown people. And that's literally that's what they wanted. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's literally what they wanted. They, like, exactly 100%. Like... And then they would, like, show us pictures of, like, Taliban people so that we would go to the store and be like, oh, look at those, look at those towel, towel wearing people. They're evil. They're 9 11ers. It's like this. No, this I, is propaganda. That's crazy because I never, um, I never experienced that. Oh, portion they of never it. showed you like the Taliban. They would like show us like videos of like soldiers in Afghanistan and shit in Iraq, and they'd be like, "Look, look at them! Look at these people shooting at them." Uh, See, I'm not that surprised because you're from one of the most southern states that's not in the south. What, Utah? Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually crazy because I... 
like I guess where I grew up was a little bit more liberal, even though it is still in the South and like a conservative area. Like for some reason, my little pocket of the area is like pretty liberal. Mm -hmm. So we never saw anything like that. But they obviously would every year do like 11, however, some fucking minutes, however, extended minutes of silence for 9 11 every morning. It was, it was, it was so much. They'd make it like an event, it'd be an all day assembly. Yeah, y'all should, y'all should let us out of class for this. Yeah, I mean, we got out of class. One year there was a, uh, what was it? These, like, this group came up and did the YMCA dance. And we all were going, now, what? what? And then all of a sudden, then, then they stopped singing. And it was just like, just like the fucking planes hitting the towers. I was like, nice. <laughs> They make it fun, and then they'd like scar us for life. They're like, "This is what was happening." Um, when they'd be the like, "Okay, everybody, stopped. sit down, crisscross applesauce," and then they'd be like, "We're gonna show you a video," and it's fucking planes just crashing into the tower. Me and my, f- I had to learn <laughs> that it wasn't an appropriate response to be like, "Whoa," because it was a bad thing. But come on, I mean, when you're a kid and you see something exploding, you're not gonna be like. <laughs> What an American tragedy. Right, because we also didn't resonate with that shit. No. Like, why are you why are you making us watch this? Bitch, I was in the womb. I I I was out the womb for a year. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was watching I Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't give a fuck about any of this. I all I care about is my snacks and my TV. Like can we just go to recess? You gotta cancel that. <laughs> yeah, the way it actually is uh, insane to think about how through my entire school career, that was something that remained constant, all, like forever. Like because mm-hmm. obviously I didn't start school until you know years after, or like two or three years after that had happened. So that was always that. Like that was just a constant thing. But what the fuck do we know about it? Why are you? We don't give mm-hmm. a fuck about this. I found out at my college, it's a policy that if you're teaching a class on nine eleven, you have to mention it. That's insane. Yeah, one of my professors was like, "All right, it's class today is nine eleven. Um, the towers were hit with planes, and then he started his lesson. And another teacher did like a whole lesson. She was like." On 9-11, I was... She was in New York. And she was like, I was in New York. I was at sc- at my school. And we were taking a test. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, Stop taking your tests. Look at the TV. And they turn on the TV. I was like, oh, cool. So you got out of your test? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, I was like, I really I do not... I don't care about your anecdotes about 9-11. Yeah. My 9-11 was the first time they canceled nacho fries at Taco Bell and said they were never coming back. <laughs> but then they came back, like, once every yeah. two months. So now I don't even care. Taco Bell yeah, can that, suck my dick. Yeah, that was definitely one of my first actual 9-11s. <laughs> That's my new favorite thing to do is say, like, well, that my 9-11... My 9-11 was when... <laughs> My 9-11 is honestly fucking COVID, so you can watch y'all's mouth at this point. <laughs> COVID has been worse. They won't even admit it. I know. Nine, it's literally 9-11 times two. Like It's 9-11 2.0. And you know, <laughs> it's the Christians' fault this time. The Christians yeah. are at fault. They're like, don't get the vaccine. Don't wear a mask. Don't put your muzzle on. Yeah, don't put your mental on. So instead of like showing kids videos of like the Taliban now, we should start showing them videos of like Baptist preachers telling people not to put on masks. Yeah. They'll be yep. like, these are the bad guys, kids. Get ready to kill them. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's crazy. Like the people that are anti mask and all this shit that get. Well, it's not funny, but they get COVID and they die because of COVID. No, I love it. I like, love it. It gives me joy. Like, guys, do you not remember? Do you not know anything? 
because you can't tell me that you didn't get all your shots whenever you were a kid. It's bitch. You had to have them to go to school. You you're already vaxxed up. You're already in the government system. Like you're. I don't get what the issue is. It gives me like when you're cooking on the stove and a toddler comes up and you're like, "Don't touch that. It's it's red. Mm. It's hot." And they go burn the shit out of their hands. That's that's how I feel when Republicans get COVID and die. Yeah, Republicans are literally the the epitome of someone telling you, like, not to do something, and then they're just like, "You can't oh my God, tell me what to. to do." Right? They're like, "Now I have to do it." Don't put it. Don't put it. Don't put guns in your. Don't look down barrels of. Don't look down the barrel of the gun. It's bad for you. You can't tell me what to. <laughs> yeah, they. I, I've seen. I've actually um seen that happen. Actually, yeah. Oh wow! Really. Yeah, Badass. um, I told him not to look into the barrel of his gun, and then he did that. Oh my god, what did he see? So. <laughs> his uh, life flashed before his like... No, like I, I, I turned around and I left. Like I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> um but we got trauma yeah. now. This is trigger warning. <laughs> We should just wear shirts that say trigger warning just to be. We should literally. <laughs> I should. I am a walking ass. trigger warning. No, actually, Damon is a walking trigger warning. I feel like if I'm going to get canceled, it'll be because of something you say, but I'm willing to go down with you. Maybe. I won't say anything. Listen, if I say something that's unpopular, I don't mean it. If I say something that's popular, I do mean it. If it's the right opinion, I mean it. If it's the wrong opinion, I'm joking. No, 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 no. I don't mean it. <laughs> it was all satire. Like, we just gaslight everybody into thinking we're joking. But I am. It's not gaslighting. But I am. <laughs> like, I'm joking. But you just and can't tell. I can't tell when I'm, I'm joking sometimes. Um, I, I always know when I'm joking, I think. But sometimes I, I, I have those moments where I'm like, what did I just say? Sometimes I feel like an idiot because I realize that nobody else can tell that I'm joking. And if I have to go, well, I was just kidding. It feels just, it ruins it for me. I honestly don't know if I have that issue because I don't know if anyone takes me seriously anyway, so. Yeah, just don't ever take me seriously. Unless I say, take me seriously. See, if if anybody says something controversial that I don't agree with, I will usually just ignore it so that way they know I don't agree with what they just said. Or I'll be like, wait a minute. Say that one more time. I just tell them that they're stupid. Sometimes I'll do that, and then I'll like quickly go on to the next conversation, so that way it's kind of like a quick punch in the face, and they, <laughs> and they can't do anything about it. Well, now when people tell me that they think that we shouldn't force the vaccines on people, I go, okay, no one's doing that. You're an right. idiot. <laughs> Literally, like, I don't know if he's doing that, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. Or they're That's like, oh, thing. like Biden made it so that now every company that has over 100 employees, they have to require their employees either wear a mask or take weekly COVID tests, right? Yeah. And if you work for the government, you have to wear a mask. And they're like, well, you can't make people do this. It's like, they sh you're going to be working with the public, right? If you're yeah. working with the public, if you're a public entity and your employees are going to interact with people, it is a violation of the people you're interacting with, that's right, to not yeah. make sure that you're providing a safe environment. Exactly. So, it's fine. But, I mean, that I genuinely think that places should like private companies like especially like i genuinely think that they should start enforcing masks again because like if i go out to any i can anywhere i go at this point nobody has a mask on except for like i know they like think that it's over when we're as if we're not in the middle of a third wave that's almost right. exceeding for most states it's it's above so for most red states this wave that we're in right now, the Delta variant, is worse than the initial wave. Yeah. Uh, when COVID first started, right? But for some right. reason, people just think it's over. It's like it's because they're what? fucking stupid. It's not over. They're like, I want to go hang out outside with 
with my boyfriends. It's like, I want to go to this concert. Yeah. Bitch, get COVID and shut the fuck up. I want to go to Walmart. I want to go to Wally World and I want to go hang out with my friends. Like, <laughs> girl, I'm getting so fucking pissed off at this point because y'all need to stay the fuck home because you're getting everybody sick. You're getting, you're sending your kids to school and they're getting all their, everybody else is sick. All these teachers are getting these kids sick now. Mm -hmm. You stupid idiots. It's like, Need thanks, Luann. Thanks. It's it's literally like, oh my god, and uh, I know somebody that works at the hospital mm -hmm. here. She has told me that she has to constantly tell her employees, aka bitches that work at the hospital, to put their mask on. Y'all are, I, I'm, I. I'm about to move. Like, I can't handle this. My favorite thing is watching nurses and, like, CNAs getting fired for refusing to get the vaccine. Oh, I wish it I could It gives me so much pleasure. It's on TikTok. You can just watch it. Oh, they should give me that power, mm -hmm. actually. Um, I, don't, I love firing people. I love talking to people. I'll fire anybody. If you, you go around job, and I you can to. talk to doctors, and if the doctors say anything like mask, you don't need to wear masks, or the vaccines, or anything like that, you just report them, and they yeah. lose their license. <gasps> it gives me so much serious? pleasure. Yeah, you can just make them lose their licenses. I keep threatening my aunt with it. Oh, Yeah, I'm about to do that to some people um, because they're not thinking. I think so many people in the South have, like, rotted brains. Like It's all the moonshine. I don't know. Yeah, actually. It's like... I I don't know what it <laughs> is, but, like, something's just not right. I, they they don't think as fast as I think other people. I've never like, like an issue. Been to the south, but I just like imagine that it, like the area you live in. I just imagine that it, like you know, the smell of meth. Like that's the vibe. Like you the vibe is the smell of meth. You do realize that my area is like literally the meth capital of the world. Hey, the area I live in is really bad about meth, too. No, we are literally, like, you. if you look up, like, well, I don't know if, if you, let me, let me do my, my look fucking it up. research look it and up. my studies. Let me do my studies real quick. Um, I mean, meth capital, oh my god, is it of the, hold up, meth capital of the world. I think it's tennis, I think it's Nashville has the, or just outside of Nashville is where there's the most meth in the U.S. Oh my god, well, apparently now. Uh, the crystal meth kids are you ready mm -hmm. the crystal meth capital of america is in michigan wow now. they went downhill so i wonder what it is for uh there was, crazy that, how, there was like crazy. that show where they were like cooking meth and they were in tennessee in the woods outside of nashville yeah i guess we got um at like our rank, we got ranked down. Um, that's bullshit. Give that's my <gasps> friends their rank back. Literally, like, give them back. They deserve it. It's crazy, but I don't know. I know, like, my area was definitely like known as the meth capital of either the U.S. or whatever because of all the like interstates and highways that cross through it like it's mm -hmm. basically just like the perfect middle ground speaking of math two meth heads just walked by just in my window how do you know they were meth heads they're not I just, they exactly. could be wow. it's where i live so. they probably are so this is you getting canceled now for accusing my neighbors of doing meth <laughs> Yep. I did walk out there, and I thought it smelled like meth. I, I don't know ago. what meth smells like. You don't All know what it aside. smells like? You've never been in the room no. with someone smoking meth? I don't think so, no. Oh, wow. Does it smell like Coke? No. Then I have no idea. It smells like it. meth. It's... I... <laughs> it smells like meth. I could try to describe... Like, is it stinky? No, it's like kind of sweet, a little bit. I was actually pungent, about to say, like is it burning sweet? chemicals, burning. 
kind like of. Like burning, like... It's bitter. Um, it's got, like, a bitter smell, too. Okay. I don't... I hope I never smell meth, but... I hope I never taste it. Oh, I've already smelled it, so I gotta think of something. I hope I never taste uh, taste meth, you know? I'm just at a loss for words, <laughs> honestly. I'm, like, actually at a loss for words. Like, All right, well, I'll stop talking about meth, then. I, I mean, it's just... So I, where I, one of my houses, our neighbors were cooking meth, all right? And we only found out because they had twins and one of the twins just died from neglect. So they threw it in the dumpster and then they found the baby in the dumpster. And that's how they found out there was a meth lab. That's fucking crazy. Meth that's baby! Weird. I didn't see the. I think there was. I think there was a meth. Um, I don't know what it's called, but like a little meth um, kitchen, in like my woods. Nice. Like and that was years and years and years ago, but like so many people for some reason have lived in the woods near my like area, and it is so odd. I don't know what it is about that about these th- this area. Got a crazy. But they always. They always make their fucking home in the woods. It's like, y'all. Dude, I want to live in the fucking woods. I do I do like living near the woods and like mm-hmm. almost in them because it's definitely a vibe. I mean, you can see my area on TikTok. Follow me there. See you can my- see my area. Be careful. Somebody's going to figure out where you live based on the rocks outside your house, baby. They probably will. I mean, I think you could even see one of the parks near my it's actually where oh. I took the video wasn't near where I live. It was just in the desert near where I live. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Well, <laughs> what are we at? Now we're well, at 112. Great. We're good now. <laughs> oh, perfect. I was about to say, this was like actually a great episode. This is a great ending point. There's going to be a lot of good um, snippets. That's what I was thinking as I was watching through, and I actually need to force myself to do snippets. Oh, never mind. I thought I had my microphone turned off. I had a panic attack. I was about to... I wasn't about to lose it, actually. I told you guys I'm chill. Um, Okay. Wow. I don't think I have anything else I need to add, then. No, no. We're pretty good. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for listening in on this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed the crazy, quirky kooky su- i almost said superior um conspiracy side of us today uh we are superior today i will say that but yeah. um hope you enjoyed thank you so much um, if you enjoyed please leave a comment i want to read comments and yeah, like, if you comment something make it a little controversial yeah spice it up a bit it's all about that all right um thank you so much we'll yeah. see you guys later thanks uh